What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kev Ozella and I'm back with another Cronus and a Strike Pack video. This video I'm going to be covering the AK-47, the Cold War AK-47, and the Cold War AK-74. Well, the AK-74U Overkill Class setup. You can see right here I named it AK and AK. Pretty dope, pretty, pretty dope setup. Um, the AK, you're going to want to put on Groove Suppressor, the 20 Special Nass RPK Barrel, the Axle Arms, 45 Rounds, and Serpent Wrap, along with the AK-74U SMG Secondary Groove Suppressor, 10.3 task force the kgb skeletal stock 40 round drum and bruiser grip yeah the bruiser grip to allow you to just become sonic with this gun and just run around and just do your thing pretty pretty cool pretty cool different kind of setup i know i covered this gun in the past and i also covered the ak but this is more of an updated ak and this is obviously kind of sort of like a brand new ak set for you i'm bringing to you guys so i'm you know, with like one or two different um, new attachments that I switched up. Never really ran the bruiser grip uh, with the AK-74. I don't know if I covered it in the past, like getting values and stuff like that, but I never actually used it myself in game. So yeah, I did use it. Appreciate you guys and check the description for my in-game settings. Hey right, guys, gonna be doing something a little different with today's video. I'm actually gonna bring you guys along with the testing and everything with this uh, double AK setup. So we got the AK-74U right here. And then of course my primary is the AK-47 Cold War. So from a 20, gonna be testing. I'm sure you guys, like always, same exact attachments. I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with the testing and everything from scratch, showing you guys how I do and stuff. So here we are. I call this setup the Dynamic Duo. <laughs> Two AKs, AK-47 Cold War and AK-74U. That sets out the AK first. I already did right there. It started to go up, but I'm gonna show you guys on camera. So I stopped right there, because I can already see it start to go up, right? So let's get into the game pack. Loadout one, primary weapon. Nope, it's a secondary primary weapon. AK. Press X on the AK. Let's go to a 111. Let's try a 111, right? Press touchpad, L2. Go down, press the ball one. Make sure it's loaded. Now let's try. I got still see it starts to go up a little bit. So stop it right there. Let's add a bit more. Let's go to a 121. A 121. All right, load that, get some ammo. All right, I wanna go to a cleaner wall, so I'm gonna do, is this? Nah, it's, uh, let's see, is this, is this good enough? Yeah, this should be good enough. Right here, yep, perfect, right here, let's see. Okay, still, still going up, so. Let's bring it to the right a little bit more. Let's, let's go one, a 135. That might be a little too much, but let's see. Let's see, all right? No, actually, it's still going up. So, we got to bring... I don't want to have to bring it to the max. 150? Let's see. Load it up. Let's see. AK-47 Cold War. Let's see. Do me justice, baby. Let's see. All right. Right. 20. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. It goes down. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. So that means it's a little too much. Let's say a 145. That should be spot on. That should be perfect. A 145 should be should be straight. Actually, I want to go to a, like a better wall site that you guys can see. Can you guys see here? Is this wall? Because I, I don't like to do my testing on this bumpy, on this freaking bumpy wall. But let's see. Let's see if the bullets show. All right. Goes down a little too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna snipe that. So let's bring it, bring it up by two. A 147. A 147 AK-47 cohort should be perfect. Let's try it. Should be perfect. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it looked like it was good. It was a beam, but then it went down a little bit. So. Let's, uh, let's decrease that. It's like the last 10 or so bullets. 147. So it looks like for the last... Let's try Let's try 140. Let's try 140. See what I go through, guys? Sometimes I know you guys go through the same thing. Sometimes you think something's good and you got to retest. That's why you always should retest. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. There we go. That looks... That looks incredible. One more time. Let's see. Yep, there we go. There we go. 
That looks good. That looks good enough. Tested it twice. Same thing. Went up a little bit, and then it just stood the same. This is being rather than have the last ten or so rounds just start to shoot straight down. Maybe I could decrease that even more. So that's. All right, there we go. That's a lot better. All right, AK-47. We got it, boys and girls. 141. A 141. See? There we go. Boom. Check that out. A 141. All right, test one more time. Yep, 141. There we go. To the AK. A 141. See? Now the AK-47 Cold War is officially done. Let's go to the AK-74U. And let's see uh, at 100 where it goes. All right, starts to climb up. I recently just did the AK-74 U, but I didn't do it with this uh, with this unbarrel with the bruiser grip. So let's go over secondary and let's bring her down a little bit. Let's see. Let's see 115. Don't forget to load it up and let's test again. You want to do the whole magazine? That looks that looks pretty good. Let's see again one more time. Now it looked like it went down a little too much. So let's decrease that. Let's decrease that. Uh, let's do let's do a one thirteen. Let's do a one thirteen for the AK set for you. Save it. Boom. There we go. There we go. See? That looked a lot better than both of them. Let's test one more time. I like to do all my testing out of 15 from um, with SMGs. That's, look at that shit. That, <laughs> that looked freaking insane. But uh, I didn't have a full mag. Oh, I think I did. I wasn't really paying attention. Right here, cleaner wall because that wall started to get used up. You guys could see this a lot better. There you go. Looks all right. Move over. Let's see. Do I have to adjust again? Let's see. No, that's it. That is it. Of course, I mean, you can't from behind. So, yeah, the, the AK before you has like a weird iron sight. We all know that. It has like a weird iron sight. So, when you shoot, that's the thing. See, I was shooting. You can't expect the bullets to hit exactly where the iron sight is showing because it's weird. You, you got to like aim below. Like, when you shoot, expect the, the bullets to land a little bit below the iron sight. That's just the way it is. That's just the way the AK-74U is. All right. Now I'm in a new game. I got a strike pack now. Just going to show you guys. Oh, he blew himself up. Just to show you guys the result. So I'll put the same AK-47, the same AK-74U web profiles with the same exact value. So first, doing the AK-47 Cold War from a 20. Show sure you guys same exact attachments. All right. There goes the uh, bruiser grip with the AK-74U. All right. Check it out. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Enemy Let's see. Nope. With the AK, it looks like it goes down a little bit, so we got to bring her up. So ADS, shoot, down D-pad, then press, let's say, up three times. One, two, three, maybe four. Four. I went up four times. So we already know the AK-47 is going to be a different value, right? Let's see. Oh, shit. There we go. I didn't have to adjust again. Let's test that out. Let's see again. Oh, there we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so we didn't have to adjust again. I adjust one time and I got it solid. <laughs> solid. Let's see. Let's see one more time. Let's see. I might have to bring her up one more time. Let's see. Actually, no. Holy heck. Pretty good. See, pretty good. See, so it's confirmed that sometimes, you know, the reason why I redo guns over sometimes is because, you know, the old values may or may not work. And I get it. You guys try it out. The old value doesn't work. You guys hit me up like, okay, I think there's a new value. Your old value doesn't work anymore. I come on here, test, and I bring you guys updated values. You already know I always do that, no matter what. Even even for Vanguard. If Vanguard comes out, I got you guys. The integration comes out, I got you guys. All right? 
Now the AK-47 is done. Now secondary is the AK-74U. So from 15, Setting might have to adjust this as well. We'll see, we'll find out. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like we do. I can't, couldn't really tell because of the pole got away. Let me go to a better spot, but it looks like we do because look, it, it did go down. So it did go down, All right? So from here, let's see from 15, let's test one more time. Actually, no. Hold on. Okay, the, the AK is set for you. I'm, I may not have to adjust. Hold on. It might be the same value for the Zen. Okay, there you go. Is this deal? Yeah, the pole was in the way. That's all. The pole got in the way. Yes, sir. See, there you go. Did it twice, back to back. Same exact result. Don't need to adjust. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. If you guys can't manage that, I don't know what's going on. But trust me, <laughs> that's pretty good, all right? Remember, when ad when adjusting, testing, and shooting at walls, always get your fingers, your thumbs, you know, your thumbs off of the analog sticks. Just make sure you're not touching the analog sticks, guys. All right? Just make sure you just empty out a whole magazine at a wall without touching none of the analog sticks. Not the left one, not the right one, okay? And you should be out. Right. You should be fine. All right? That's cool. See? That's cool. That's simple. It's pretty good. Huh. Bruiser grip, huh? Okay. Pretty good. It was pretty good. All right, time to bring you guys to the uh, to the game packs to show you guys the values and or profiles and the setup. Let's go. Hey right, guys, so here we are. The Warzone Essentials Pro Game Pack for the Zen, and here is the Warzone Pro Game Pack for the Stripe Pack. Okay, Stripe Pack is always going to be on this side. Zen on this side it just makes it easier for me. All right, and hopefully easy for you guys to understand. Here we go on the Zen Loadout One Primary Weapon AK-47. It was a 141 we got, and for the AK-74U it was a 114. Now for the stripe pack, I just had to do a little adjustment with the AK-47 as you've seen. So it was a 135 when I plugged her back in. So a 135 for the AK-47 Cold War, right? Custom Loadout 1, stripe pack, and then secondary, well, Custom Loadout 1, secondary weapon, 114. Same thing as the Zen for the AK-74U. See that? Secondary weapon, same thing. AK-74U, Cold War at 114. Zen for the AK is on a 141, but the stripe pack was a little adjustment, right? 135 just a tiny bit adjustment and that's it there you have it this video helped you out you guys already know what to do i'll catch you all on the next video peace and stay safe